And to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. A hard life. He worked hard. He, he worked his way up. And he left a, a really big legacy. He was buried right here. And you never know it, but Billy, like, never, Billy, he never heard of ECV. All right? There was no document or evidence that he was a clamper or knew of clampers. All right? So, Billy Holcomb here, he was born in January 27, 19, oh, I'm sorry, 1831 <laughs> in Tippecanoe County, Indiana. That is near Purdue University, roughly 100 miles east of Chicago. Uh, let's see, if he's been alive, or if he's still alive, he would have been, this would have been his 193rd birthday if he had taken care of himself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so in 1849, at the age of 18, he left for the Gold Rush country. Technically, he left the, count, he left the country too, as California was not yet a state. California became a state in 1850. So, so no evidence he ever saw his parents or family again once he left uh, Indiana. So crossing the Green River in what is now Wyoming, he and his party lost everything. Oxen drowned, even lost his boots swimming across to the shore. Let's see, from there he walked the rest of the way to Placerville at the foot of the Sierra Nev uh, Nevada. That is 811 miles using the route that's uh, Interstate 80 now. And he went and tried gold mining in the Sierra, the Kern River, and Oregon. Fell at all three places. And then in 1859, at the age of 28, Billy Holcomb headed to Bear Valley in San Bernardino Mountains yeah. with partner Jack Martin looking for gold. He landed in Belleville, a mining camp called Starvation Flats by the miners because little gold had been found. Same where Falkskin now exists. <laughs> Billy Holcomb, you never know it, but he was a lousy miner. <laughs> he started shooting games for money so since he couldn't mine he started to go hunt games around the area for the miners and that's how he made his living so early in 1860 he shot a black bear he wounded it and then he tracked it down so while taking a break he poked some soft rocks with his knife and guess what he found gold so on May 5th 1860, Jack Martin, Billy's partner, filed the claim and brought some supplies with gold dust. It was followed by low life vagabonds back to Bear Valley and the rush was on. So for reference, the U.S. Civil War started back in April 12, 1861. So he found this uh, Bear Valley back in 1860. So Belleville grew from a 20-person mine, 20 mining camp to 1,500 people within a month, or within months. Almost became the county seat, but lost by two votes. So the goal in town was gone within a decade when the goal ran out. It was the second largest gold rush in Southern California. Reports are Holcomb Valley produced more gold than anywhere in Southern California the Good Hope near Paris makes the second claim. Bear Valley changed name to Holcomb Valley in 1880. So some of his uh, life history is that back in 1860, he married Nancy Stewart. They had five sons and two daughters. The youngest, Annie, she died as an infant of scarlet fever. And then in 1861, Billy was elected and then appointed, appointed Justice of the Peace in Belleville. That was a rough town, saloon, dance hall named the Octagon. 
then in 1862, there were 50 murders in in a town of 1,500 people. <laughs> so that was a pretty rough place being a justice of the peace there. And then in 1863, he moved to Prescott, Arizona for several years and tried some mining and hunting over there. And then back in 1871, he returned back to San Bernardino and then was elected county assessor. And he got three terms out of that one. And then in, 18, six, in I'm sorry, 1882, he ran for the county clerk and he got that job. And then later on, he became a merchant and served the county until his death in 1912 at the age of 81. Some of his legacy, he had a grandson named Grant Holcomb. He became the mayor of San Bernardino from 1925 to 1927. And his great-grandson, Bob Holcomb, he was mayor from 1971 to 1985, and then again in 1989 to 1993. Bob Holcomb, he, uh, Bob Holcomb, he passed away in 2010. So today, hobby miners still have hundreds of claim in and around Holcomb Valley. So that's the history of Billy Holcomb. Yeah. Scooter. Yeah. Little history here. Bob's uh, grandson was in our chapter. Lonnie Holcomb just died a couple years ago. Lonnie Holcomb would come out. He was royalty. Lonnie Holcomb's first clap out. He came out and he was allowed to sleep in Proctor Brian Nash's new Wander Lodge motorhome. Whoa. <laughs> you know about this story. Lonnie didn't like to wear clothes. <laughs> Nash didn't like ball sacks on his dinner table, but he got ball sacks. <laughs> Mad Jack's partner, Billy Holcomb, the actual rifle that he used is right here in the museum. Gary can give you the information. A picture of that is on my shirt when I'm not wearing all this junk. Look at that rifle, it's right here in the museum. Billy Holcomb and Mad Jack got separated during a hunt out. They'd shot this bear, they wounded this bear, and William Holcomb got all torn to shit. And when rescuers found him, true story, he was all torn up and all he was pointing at the mountain and he was saying, Big Bear, Big Bear. That's where the true story, that's where the name Big Bear comes from. And Bear Valley, story gets a little better. William F. Holcomb, I'm sitting in Long Beach Court 2016, April 4th, and I hear the name William F. Holcomb III. And in ticket court, if the officer's not there, you win your case. And so about 50 cases walk out the door. There's about four guys there. And this big ass dude, he looks like he should be a Mintone boy. I mean, he's just a good looking guy, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, exactly. William F. Holcomb, and I can think Long Beach had a Roman ticket. The officer was there, ready for trial. And I go, God, I gotta know this guy. I said that name. I sat down next, and previously I'd, I'd said hi to him and he kind of growled and said hi a little bit, but you could tell, he, I don't think he liked what I did for a living. And I'm talking to this guy and I said, I'm in this group. Billy Holcomb, it's the greatest. William F. Holcomb, da, da, da. This was the great, great, great grandson, William F. Holcomb III. And he says, I've heard about clampets or clampers or whatever the F you are. I don't like effing cops, and I need you to get your ass away from me right now. <laughs> and I said, toodaloo, and I went and sat down. He went, Arr! and he growled. So there is a Billy Holcomb III. He's not coming in today. <laughs>
One, two, three. Happy birthday to you.